Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the crocheted flower hair clip. These things are super cute. Originally, I was going to say that they were meant for toddlers and babies, but then I realized that my own 12-year-old daughter still wears these in her hair when she feels like dressing up, feeling cutesy. And I've also seen adult women wear these in their hair when they are walking around and they look so cute. Oh my gosh. So these are super easy to make, make up really fast, which make them giftable, sellable, make them for yourself, for your child, for your grandchild, and they are just a lot of fun. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week covering a wide range of different crochet projects, and you're really not gonna wanna miss out. So let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're gonna need to make these super cute, crochet flower hair clips. The materials that you're going to need to make the crochet flower hair clip are a size 4 weighted yarn. You can really use any size 4 weighted yarn. I actually made three different examples using three different si kinds of size 4 weighted yarn. It, the blue flower here, I used Vanna's Choice size 4 weighted yarn. It also made up very similar when I used Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. They made the exact same type of flower. The white flower here, I used Lily's Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn. I really liked how it changed the texture of the flower and added a little more detail, a little more grit to it, which made it look very farmhousey, that whole rustic kind of look, which is really in, really popular. It was very adorable. Wanted to show that another four weighted yarn, the cotton yarn, worked out great for this flower. Also, this third example, I used Karen Simply Soft yarn, size 4 weight, but it turned out smaller. The Karen Simply Soft flower just turned out a little bit smaller. I wanted to show you when you use your four-weighted yarn that it might, your flower might actually turn out just a tad bit different. It might be a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger than what I show in my video, and it's all based on what material you used, okay? So I'll go ahead and keep one out for an example. You're going to need a crochet hook size F or 5-3.75 millimeter. You're going to need a tapestry needle or a yarn needle. I have two examples out right here because depending on which button you pick, you want to make sure that your yarn needle will be able to fit through the eye holes of the button. Okay? You also need a pair of scissors and a snap clip. Snap clip. I got this 10 pack from the Dollar Tree. Uh, you can get them at any convenience store, really. They're super, super cheap, but you'll just need one of those. All right, that is all you will need to make these super cute hair clips. Let's go ahead and dive right into how to make one. All right, so starting with a small tail, we're going to make our slip knot. Perfect. Okay, we're going to chain 30. So one, two, three, four, 29, and 30. Fabulous. Okay, so we are going to skip the first five chains and we're going to double crochet in the sixth chain. Okay, so that loop on your crochet hook does not count. We're gonna start here with our first chain, then two, three, four, five, and we're going to place our double crochet in the sixth chain. So yarning over, inserting our crochet hook. I put two loops on the top, one loop on the bottom. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So those five chains that we just skipped, Three of those count as our first double crochet, and then two of those count as the two skipped spaces. All right, we're going to skip two spaces. One, two. We're going to chain two chains. One, two. So they're in line with each other. And we're going to double crochet in that third chain. Right there. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. 
perfect and continue that across so chain two skip two one two double crochet in the third chain two skip two double crochet in the third go ahead and continue that across and i will meet you at the very end skip two double crochet skip two and double crochet in that very last space perfect okay so you will end with something that looks like a ladder shape right there pretty cool now we're going to start making the petal parts of our flower. So chain three, one, two, three. Working inside this large gap space, we are going to make three double crochets. So yarn over, insert into that large gap space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's one double crochet. Let's make two more. One, two, great. So we have our three double crochets there. We're gonna chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to slip stitch into this gap space. So insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull all the way through that loop on your hook. And what we did is we just made our first petal. Okay, so we had our chain three, then three double crochets, chain three, slip stitch, petal number one. We're gonna put two more of these little mini petals in this same gap space. So this second one is going to be more of a diagonal this way. So chain three, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, and chain three to close our petal. Slip stitch right there. And that is our second little petal. Pretty cute, right? Okay, we're gonna put one more grouping of three in this same exact space. So chain three, one, two, three three double crochets, one, two, three, and three chains, one, two, three, and slip stitch to close that petal. Great. Okay, so we originally started on this side of the ladder we wanted to come around to this side of the ladder so we could start working along this side. So we did one, two, three different petals in that top corner space, okay? In each space along the side of this ladder, you're going to enter that space with a slip stitch. So enter the space with your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through and pull all the way through that loop. That way you slip stitch into that space. It kind of initiates the, all right, this petal is only going in this spot. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three. You're going to put four double crochets. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. There's one, two, three, four, all in that same little gap space right there. And then chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch in that same space. Boom. Perfect. That, oh, that just made the petal in that space alone. So that petal right there is for that space. Let's go ahead and make a petal in the next space. So we're going to slip stitch to enter the space. Chain three, one, two, three, four double crochets. 
one, two, three, four, chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch in that same space to close that petal. Perfect. I'm going to do one more space with you and then I'm going to let you go to do it all, do the, uh, the other one, two, three, four spaces on your own. Okay. If you get caught up in anything, just refer back to these last two spaces or the space that I'm about to do with you. Slip stitch into the new space to initiate your petal. Chain three, one, two, three, four double crochets. One, two, three, four, three chains, one, two, three, and slip stitch in the bottom of that same space just to close your petal. All right, guys, go ahead and repeat over the next one, two, three, four spaces, and I will meet you in that last fifth space to go over that corner, okay? You got this. Great job, guys. Okay, we are in the very last space here. You're going to basically do the exact same thing we did in the first space where we're going to slip stitch into the space chain three, one, two, three, only put three double crochets, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch. So there's petal number one. Let's make two more petals. Chain three, only three double crochets, one, two, three, and three chains, one, two, three, slip stitch in the bottom here, and we're going to make one more petal, guys, chain three, one, two, three, three double crochets, One, two, three, and three chains. Slip stitch into the bottom. Perfect, guys. Okay, we have just finished all of our petals. I'm going to have you grab your scissors. You're going to cut off a pretty long tail, okay? This tail we're going to use to sew all of our petals together to look like the flower. So you want to have a pretty good size tail right there. Okay, yarn over, pull that yarn through that last loop on your crochet hook and pull tight. And that made that last slip knot to close it up. Grab your yarn needle or your tapestry needle and thread that needle. Perfect. Okay, so when we get ready to make our flower, it really is just a twisting. So you take your three flower petals here, you fold them in on each other, and then you just keep twisting and twisting and twisting, twisting. Watch your flower petals. Make sure that each one is visible and that you're not completely overlapping it. And boom, there is our flower. Isn't it beautiful? So you might be wondering, what does it look on the other, like on the other side? Well, here's what it looks like on the other side. You have all of these little, uh, the other side of that ladder, all kind of bunched up on each other throughout this flower, okay? So one thing that you could do is either take your rose or your flower and flip it over, take your yarn needle and just sew back and forth, making sure all these little other sides of the ladder get picked up. That way they all attach to each other and periodically just keep checking the front of your flower and making sure that nothing shifted in the process. 
Okay, that's one way that you could make your flower. The other way that you could make your flower is just step by step sewing it in, sewing it together. So I prefer that way just so I can make sure the petals stay where I want them to stay. Looking at the end with your three petals, I take these two and I kind of fold them in on each other. So now it looks like one's on the top, one's on the bottom. Take my needle and I will just attach on that side of the petal to make sure that those kind of fold in on each other. Okay, then I twist my flower. Yep, I want it there. So I'll look at the back, insert my yarn needle, petal, line, the other side of that ladder, and attach it in so it stays put. Okay, then I look at my flower. Yay, it's staying put. I'll twist a little bit more. Okay, yeah, that's where I want this petal to be. So I look at the back. Okay, this is the petal. Here's the other part of the ladder. I'm just gonna hook my needle, my needle into that part and sew into the back of the flower to attach. Go to the front, twist again. Perfect. Okay, so these are the two new petals. Right here, those are the two new petals. Come in at the bottom part of the other side of their ladder. Sew that into the flower. Take this part, sew it into the flower. Perfect, okay, look at the front. Everything still looks good, nothing has shifted. Twist a little bit more. Okay, so these are my two new petals. Turn around. So go in the bottom part of that ladder. So two new petals. Attach. Great. Twist the flower a little bit more. Oh, see how it almost wanted to like completely cover up? I want to pull it out so I can see those petals. And it looks like that's how I want my flower to end. I've already reached the end of my flower. So when I turn my flower over, I just wanna make sure that I attach every other side of the ladder part into my flower. So there's one, so petal, petal, other side of ladder, and okay, so petals, and in. It's one of those things that you really get a feel for. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm struggling a little bit to show you exactly where to put the needle and how exactly to sew this together, but I hope that I at least was able to communicate the two different sides of the ladder. One side had the pedal, one side had the straight line, and you're really just sewing the straight line pieces together. And you're not sewing the pedal part because you want the pedal part to have a 3D effect. You kind of want it to be able to be loosey-goosey. If you were to sew all the petals flat, it would definitely make a more two-dimensional object. And we like to have things a little more frilly, a little more full of life, movement, and a 3D effect. Like that. Okay? So, once we feel like all the petals are secure, nothing is moving, we'll go ahead and move on to our button. So, have fun with the button. When you're at the store looking for which button you want to use for the center of your flower, have a lot of fun checking out all those buttons in the button aisle. It, they can be really, really fun, really, really creative. With these flowers, I tend to prefer something a little more black because it pops, but I also want it to have some character. I also am in love with wood buttons, but I'm kind of out of wood buttons at the moment. So I am using some of the materials that I have in my stash in my office right now, and they still work. They still look really cute. So I'm going to pick this button. 
I'm going to see will my yarn needle pass through the, the hole and it will. Perfect. So I don't need to go down a needle size in order to sew on my button, which is great. Okay, so attach the button in the center of your flower. Come in through the back into the eye hole. Great. So all the way through the other side of the flower. Okay, there's two. Got two more to go. I'm gonna crisscross. Perfect. And that's it for the button. So that part of the flower is complete. Now grab your snap clip. Okay, start with it open. That's a mistake I can see some people making and then you end up sewing it closed and it doesn't work. <laughs> start with it open. Okay, position the clip on the back of the flower. If you want, go ahead and look at the front of the flower and see is that how I want it to look or do I want to turn it that way? Just knowing, okay, if this is how I'm putting it on my hair, do I want it to look like that? when you want to shuffle your flower around to really identify where you want the best placement. When you decide on best placement, I go, so this is open, I go side and I'll go in the middle of the butt of the snap clip and I'll come out the other side. So then I got one side looped in and I'm going to come around and I'm going to go on the inside out. So now both sides of my clip are secured but my clip can still move side to side and that can cause a lot of problems. So I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to come up the front and attach to the outermost part of that petal. Go inside. There you go. Okay, so it's the yarn is coming out right there. I'm going to take my yarn and come around like that. And I'm going to grab the yarn on this side push it down a little bit. So now I am secure on this side. I'm secure on this side. I'm secure on the top. I'm going to actually tie a little knot to make sure that this doesn't shift. So holding back some yarn with my thumb, inserting my needle into the yarn. Okay. Okay. Take these two fingers twist the yarn so it forms a little X shape. Take your needle underneath and slowly feed it through. That makes a slip knot. So now this side is secure. Now we want to go on to the other side of the clip to hold that clip still because currently that clip can still slide and we do not want it to slide. So we will take our needle and we'll enter into the flower poke out the other side. Nope, I'm running out of yarn. Okay, I'm going to take my needle, go through the top, and that will secure my hold on that end of the flower. And you just tie a knot with your yarn like we did before in the top here to secure your clip. This is going to be a little tough because I am running out of yarn.
cool. And you make that slip knot right there on that end. If you have enough yarn, then you would just weave that back into the material or into the flower. I'm just, I don't have enough to hang on to my crochet, my little yarn needle. So I'm going to take my crochet hook. I'm going to weave through the yarn. I'm going to take that little tail and just pull that into the work to secure it. All right, and then you are done, guys. Okay, if you ever wanted to, you could absolutely, absolutely use like uh, a hot glue gun and get the top of the, the snap clip, and that will also secure this piece. Other than that, guys, close that clip. Your crochet flower hair clip is complete. And it is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. I really hope you had fun making these crochet flower hair clips with me today. If you did, you might also really like these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.